Hey guys, what's going on? This is Kyle 148. I'm on my roof. Uh, this is for our New York tractor office. If you want to see how much room is left in my yard after the garage stuff. So, um, my phone kind of zooms in a little bit. Uh, let me go over here. It's my neighbor's dog. Um, so yeah, there's still a pretty good amount. Um, not wearing any shoes either, by the way. But, um, it's right here. It's gonna be driveway. I might even come over here, too. So you can back a truck up where that bobcat is. And, driveway. All the way to the end of the garage. And there's gonna be another parking space on that side of the garage with the woodshed. I think we're gonna keep that. Because I realize my shed, my um, garage, my bay, is going to be um, a little bit small for how much shit I have if a truck or trailer is in there. So, I'm thinking about keeping the woodshed, residing it with the new house color and the new shingles. And I could keep like the snow blowers in there, the thatcher. I'll put a shelf, like a heavy duty shelf, that um, the thatcher can go on with a uh, two single stage snow blowers that I'll be buying um, so yeah my property goes to uh, let's see there's arborvitae's back there so uh, right before all that shit over there it's like sinks and stuff that uh, those people own um, but yeah you can see that little wall right there that's probably where I could, that's basically where I'll stop doing anything. There's some trees back there. Uh, we need to take down a few trees. Like, uh, I think it's right there. It's leaning a lot. It's dead. I just come down, and there's a huge ass hanger from it. Uh, right there. Right there. And then uh, some other trees back there. But basically what I want to do is I want to have a fenced in area on that side of the garage which the shed will be in, maybe a truck, maybe a trailer, not exactly sure but just so all my shit is hidden, um, you don't see it from the road over there, over there. Um, so there's, gonna be, there's not going to be too much grass but that's fine with me because I do my neighbor's yard here too. And I do it free, so it's enough grass for me to cut for free. And there you are, it looks like shit. I helped build that big shed with my neighbor. But then he moved. He still owns his house, but he rents it. Well, that'd be awkward if my brother was home, because that's his room right there. Um, I need to take this off here. It's been on there since we put the window in. I'll work on that after. But it's cold as balls out here. Um, so, yeah. There is about. Hey, Skyler! Dog's name is Skyler, which is also my brother's name, so that's kind of weird. But, um, so you can see there's a bunch of room behind the garage. It has to be two feet from the property line, which that's about three to four feet in some areas. But that stake right there is the property line. Wait, no, that stick is... Yeah, that one. And that's the back of the garage. So, so... Yeah. The fence isn't on the property line. <laughs> but, um... So, yeah, one day when this house is mine... Uh, of the whole garage. And it will be filled up with all my shit. I'll have, um three or four trucks in there or whatever. Well, it depends how big my company gets, but that's what I'm hoping for. So, we're gonna redo... What the fuck is it? What the fuck? My cat watching me? Yeah, I climbed out this window. I was a really big bitch. But... So yeah, we're going to be redoing um, 
this drive right here got a little beat up from the construction plus um, I don't know if you can see it down there with the black line on the foundation it, the driveway sunk like two or three inches from when we put it in so yeah and then it's all fucked up over there and there uh, and Amber's roof is really fucked up but yeah so I'm gonna go inside for now uh, watch some TV with my grandpa Hope this helped you out. Um, so yeah, see you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe.